I knew now was trying to win Michael back. That she hoped the baby would bring them closer. And you know, I did have a sense that she was planning something, but of course I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Oh, well, it's a good thing you stayed out of it. I mean, you couldn't have known how far Nell would go to get what she wanted. All I ever heard Nell talking about was how much she wanted to get back together with Michael. Although, in retrospect, I guess the way that she talked about handling her problems with Carly did unsettle me a little bit. And not because I was worried about Carly. I know she can take care of herself. What was it then? I was unsettled by how much Nell reminded me of myself. You both agreed on the name Jonah. Is that still acceptable? Acceptable. This isn't a contract, Michael. We're talking about our child yes here. Yes or no. Yes. We agreed on the name Jonah back when I believed in you, back when I thought that we could be happy together. Happy. Right. Now, was, it, was, that, was that before or after you used my brother's memory to gaslight my mom? Or was that before or after you arranged to have me killed so you can have all my money? All I ever wanted was for us to be... There is no us. Our child is dead. It's over. There's, there's nothing left. <sighs> Michael, I'm not going to lie down and let you steamroll all over me. If you divorce me, I'll contest it. It won't come to that. You can't leave me with nothing. I'm still your wife, no, you're Michael. Not. You're not my wife. You never were. Dang, Michael, we got married. The mayor of Port Charles officiated us. We had a ceremony, that's all. What are you talking about? Michael, I just lost my baby. So did I. And me? Maybe we could heal together. You think so? Look, I know, I know that I messed up, and I... I just sometimes I get I get these 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 crazy thoughts and they keep racing through my head and and I know that I can get help, but I don't know things just get away from me and I, and then the next thing I know I don't know what I'm doing like when I was little and everything was taken away from me. I don't know what to do. I don't know, no. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're mentally ill. Maybe you're a sociopath. I I I, I don't know, but you know I really I just I don't care. How can you be so cold? You know what? I'm taking a page from your book. Right? I'm, I'm following your lead. You know, when, it, when, it, when it came time for uh, Ned to sign our, our marriage certificate, remember when Jason let him borrow his pen? It was a pen with, with, with very special ink, the kind of ink he used on the flyer you put in my mom's windshield. Find me where you left me. <laughs> my mom thought it was Morgan, so she went to his gravesite where you, where you sprayed his cologne. That, that is... That is, that is worse, that is worse than calculating. No, that is sadistic. Oh my God, so you were working to drive her crazy so everybody would think that she was unhinged. Because when she, when she brought that flyer to the detective, it, it was empty, right? It was blank. Like our marriage certificate. But when we got married, you said that you loved me. That's a lie, now. I don't love you. It was a setup. The prenup, the will, all of it. Oh, and uh, by the way, I, I do have a will. It's filed away in Diane's office, so, so even if you did manage to kill me, you wouldn't have gotten a dime. You tricked me. I was protecting myself and my family. Too little, too late. But at least it's done.